we've just flown in from LA. Me and my wife Julie Kitchen, sporting times world Muay Thai champion. Well, we've been here in LA. We've we've been we've been really busy. We've been to the wild card gym with Freddie Roach uh, training. We've been um, down to this gym. Uh, this is the AMMS gym with Paolo Tucker, who's who started in blood sport. He's with Julie now. The Julie I first met was a girl that would not stand in front of a camera, she would not have a photo taken, she would not walk in a room full of people and speak. If someone asked her a question, she'd go like bright red. And, um, and, and I had a complex about it, you know, basically, um, you know, really couldn't communicate with people and stuff. And Muay Thai changed that, you know, Muay Thai is, is the key, it's, it's now enabled her to fight you know, on the king's birthday in Thailand in front of 20,000 people, you know, and, and, you know, she's became like a, an alter ego. The queen of Muay Thai is like a, it's like a character that she jumps out of. The Julie I get at home is, is busy, you know, she's busy Julie. And, um, you know, we, even though I, I hang out with her all day, you know, if she's training, I watch her train. If she's, or oh, I train her and, and if she's going to an interview or she's having a cup of coffee, I'm, I'm there, you know, um, I, she's she's just kind, you know. That's Judy's words. You know, she's kind. She's humble. You know, there's no spite in her. There's there's, you know, if she was on her own, she wouldn't even promote herself. You know, like she, is she's just an amazing, beautiful person. Um, inside the ropes, she changes and she becomes the queen of Muay Thai. In order to um, finance Judy's career, we did. We did sort of go in over our heads. Um, obviously, we pay a lot of travel expenses ourselves. When we when we started it, um, you know, obviously the UK, as I said before, you know, the female scene isn't big. So I used to like ring promoters up and say, right, you know, like if you put a title on, I'll pay for the opponent. I'll pay to bring her over. I'll pay for a hotel just to give Judy the chance, you know. Or if you put her on the poster, we'll fight for free because I wanted her on the posters, just thinking it would get us somewhere. And, um, you know, unfortunately it didn't. And also you've got the risk, you know, is she, is she gonna win? You know, like I've, I've just spent two grand on this fight. It's not on my show, I, I'm not making any money back. And, um, you know, I don't even know if she's gonna win yet. So that, that used to put a lot of pressure on us. It just worked out that we, we was paying to, to do so many fights. In one year she fought 13 times in one year. And um, you know, as a result of putting the money in, we unfortunately, you know, with the the credit crunch that's happening in England, we lost our house, we lost our cars, we lost lost everything, and um, we was homeless for like two years. Luckily, our mum took us in, and we sort of lived all in one room with bunk beds and a double bed and a TV in the corner, and it was it was really tough. But that's you know that's where our characters come from. You know that's when we. We get in the grind and we, and we work harder and you know we use Facebook we've got like uh, over 20,000 fans on Facebook which is you know it's amazing I mean I know half of them are like you know Italian guys that are asking her to marry her every week but you know it's, it's not offensive it doesn't bother you know people can think what they like of Julie you know it's you know I'd rather them be positive and you know speaking high, highly of her in a, in a, in a sexual way than being negative, you know, like it's the negativity that destroys things, you know, so, um, you know, I'm cool with people fancying her, she's, she's fanciable.